Hey guys, welcome back. So today I want to show you how to create custom masks in your models. Like sometimes you don't have an ID map, so it's, it's good to know how to do this kind of stuff. All right. So let's say that we don't have an ID map and I'm like, all right, uh, I want to separate the base from the body and all the other parts because I want to have, you know, independence from one uh, part to the other, you know? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a folder here and let's kind of call it base. Actually, it's, yeah, it's good. Base. And another one is going to be body and the other one's going to be like uh, uh, plates metal plates similar to the other ones that we created but you're going to get the point now in a second so i'm going to select that one select this one could uh you know fill layers there you go one by one there you go and i'm going to turn off this turn those off and let's start with the base this is how you do it right click black mass no surprise there. And now we're going to be like, all right, uh, we're going to go here to polygon fill. Select that. And you're going to see all the, uh, you know, um, the wireframe and stuff. We're going to select here. You can either select polygon fill or mesh fill or a triangle, whatever, triangle fill. You're going to see what, what, is, what this means. And you can also do UV. So I'm going to select mesh fill and I'm going to just click the base you see that uh it apparently didn't nothing happened but it did so i'm just going to put another color here so you can see what's going on there you go and metallic blah blah all of this stuff so there you go we created a, a, a mask only by clicking the mesh so what we're going to do next is we're going to select the body here do the same thing add a black mask uh we're going to go with uh, actually wait Hold on, I was going to do the other one. And just get the same thing, uh, <clears throat> polygon fill, select mesh, and we're going to just click on that one. It's already there. I need to just add a separate color. I'm going to go with uh, blue. There you go. And we, you know what? We're not finished yet, so just keep going. We're going to select this part right here, and we're going to select that one right there. Just one click. One click with this one, and it's it, it, that's that's how it works. And there you go. And now we're going to go to the next one. It's going to be the pl metal plates out of black mask. And, uh, but if you go over here, and if I select this right here, look what's going to happen. It's going to select the whole thing. We cannot select things that are attached to the same object. Like if I go to the model, everything is attached here because that's actually model. Everything is connected right there those vertices are welded or whatever you want to call it they belong to the same shape so how do we do that i know that since i created this object there's a uv seam in there so i can actually select the uv right here and click it same over here and same on this one right here there you go and i can actually do it with this one too because i know that there's a seam i separated those plates for that reason to just to have you know more independent from one or the other and if i just click in the top it's going to be the same thing right there there you go i'm using the board the border that i created in the seam that isolates that little part in the top and those right there so there you go you can do it by polygon you can do it by uv i mean the polygon fill object fill mesh fill is actually selecting meshes that are not connected to each other polygon this is what, what's going to happen with polygon. I'm going to show you right now what is the polygon one. So let's say that, just to be more simple here, let's say that I want to select only this face right here and that one on the top. So I'm just going to click it and click it. There you go. That's it. That's, that's how it goes. Triangle? Well, I think you got it. Just a triangle right there. You see that? Just a click, click, click and click click boom a triangle if you need it a, a polygon if you need it or the object the entire object that is not connected to anything if it's isolated it's going to select it entirely so that is how that works to create your own own custom custom um masks if you don't have an id map that's how you do it as simple as that all right so let's recap once you uh let's delete all of that create a folder bam there you go 
if you want to create, you want to select only this piece right here. And I'm going to create one on here and just going to put it on the outside. There you go. And this one is going to be red. There we go. But everything is red right now. So I'm just going to go right click, black mask, select over here, go to polygon fill, select this one over here. I want to select mesh because that one is not attached to anything else except that piece right there. So I'm just going to click it and it's going to isolate it for me. As simple as that. That's it. That's how you do it. To separate a piece from the mesh and texture it, uh, isolate it from everything else. All right. So hope you liked that one. Please hit the like button, subscribe to this channel, and I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye-bye.